Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I've got a couple quick DIYs to share with you today. You can follow me on my social media if you'd like. Let's get crafty. I started out with this heat transfer vinyl, which is nice because you can just peel it off of here. You don't have to be quite as careful or delicate as you do regular vinyl. You want to be careful though if you have like the letter I or some dots or something a little more intricate as you might pull that up. But for the most part, you can kind of just peel it away. And then I peeled this right off of there and continue to just weed this away. I got this design off of design bundles in their free section. And as you know, I try to waste not want not. So I've got some of my Christmas white stuff over there. The gingerbread's not for today, but coming soon. I'm just weeding out those letters. Or was so kind to ask me to try out their heat press. It's amazing. Look at these attachments. There's a hat attachment. That's a cup attachment. That's the other part of the hat attachment. Um, these are different plate um, attachments so that you know you can do some heat transfer vinyl on those. I also, in a future video, I have a hat press that they're going to have me try out. And all you do is you just plug it in there. Unplug that, plug that in there, and you're going to set your heat setting. So you hit mode once, and you put your lowest temperature you want it to go to. Then you hit mode again. You set your high temperature you want, and then you set the time. So now it's working up. I hit that button right on the end for the go. And so it's going to start heating up. Once it gets there, then you just are able to get going with your item and it'll count down for you. First, I'm going to put my shirt right on here and get any of the moisture out, warm it up, get the wrinkles out. I like the size of this. It's 12 by 15 inches. So it's a nice size for t-shirts and you know if you're doing like potholes anything like that I think it's a good size. So now I'm just going to center this on here. Again the heat transfer vinyl has its own carrier sheet. You just put that on there and line it up. If you look on most of the tags there's like the letters on there and the size is usually right in the middle. So now I put that Teflon sheet over it. You could use parchment paper. And I just, you're going to want to follow the vinyl's settings. So I did go with what came on the machine and I think it might have been just a little bit warm for this. Plus I was a little bit antsy and really wanted to peel this off. This one's a cool peel. I should have waited a little bit, but look, it's nice. It's adorable. I made this one for my niece. And she was going to model it for me, but had to work, so my sister's my model. Isn't she a sweetheart? And it looks adorable on her. But my niece is a teen, and I thought that would be adorable on her too. This is another free design that I found over at Design Bundles. And I put this on the printable vinyl sheets that I got from Hippo. I'll link those down below if you're interested. Um, everything I use, I'll link down below if you'd like to do that. That way, if you don't have a Cricut, you just need a printer. It is just an inkjet printer. You print it on there. And as you can see, it's a little bit lighter, but once the heat hits it, it gets darker. And this is a lighter, I went with some past, that, those pastel colors, but when you have more vivid colors, oh, they just pop. So you just peel the backing off of it and you lay the vinyl right on there. Again, it comes with parchment paper, but I use my Teflon sheet because it's reusable. I just change up your angle so you can see a little bit better. Oh, can't wait to see. Isn't that nice? Look how it goes right on there. It just goes right in with the fabric. 
so pretty. This would be for my mom. I thought it was adorable. Now that's before, and then you can see once a heat hits it, you know, it just brings those colors up a notch. And here it is. I will be linking this heat press for you also down below. It is, they do have a 20% discount on it right now on Amazon. So if you're interested, I'll have that there for you. It is an investment, especially if you do like craft fairs. Okay. When I was a kid in the 80s, oh goodness, I'm dating myself again, but my mom had this makeup bag. It was this bright orange makeup bag and it said my face is in this bag and it had like some makeup on there and different things. I thought it would be cute to add this as part of like her Christmas gift or just a little thinking of you. Anyways, so I got some heat transfer vinyl and I just, I thought this would be fun. You know, I can put some makeup in there, goodies, whatever. You just want to make sure when you've got the two vinyls, whichever, or the one on the bottom, so like the lips, it had a little bit of plastic, so I just lifted this one up. As long as the one that needs to, you know, adhere is on the bottom, you'll be just fine. So now I check the settings for this vinyl and got that good to go gave it a little rub and now I'll put that Teflon right over the top again and this one is super fast and I do like this vinyl because it is a warm peel so you know when you get impatient you can peel it quickly if you've been enjoying these, I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I always try and give you something with or without a Cricut if I use it. If you want to know when my videos come out, hit that bell and it'll alert you. Okay, here we are. This is the final one. Okay, see how that just peels right off? This is a faux suede bag that I found at the Dollar Tree. So, so cost efficient. If you wanted to make these for like a craft fair or something, love that. Christmas gifts. Oh, adorable, right? And I just put that together for on my own. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do want to remind you to do a little something special for you. Maybe take a little bit of time to craft. I appreciate each and every one of you. Here's a couple more videos you might enjoy. Thank you so very much. Have a blessed day.